Hello, Luke Bouchard here, and this is today's Forgiveness Declaration card draw. I forgive myself for believing that the amount in my account defines who I am. And the reduction that I made with this is, there are many different types of accounts that we keep tally of, be it health, appearances, status, belongings, or money. All of these, any others you, and any others you can think of, are external indicators of our perceived well-being, mechanisms that help us track what we think will keep us safe and protected. Why is this? Well, for two reasons. First, firstly, we think that we are separated from God and therefore have to make it on our own. Secondly, and more importantly, because we think we're separated from God, we believe that our external accounts are where our salvation lies. So we keep building and adding to our accounts, hoping and praying that we will be secure when grief comes and it is time to make a withdrawal. All of this is for naught because our salvation only lies with God and nowhere else. Furthermore, the only account we need to consider is how we are accountable to others. Do we see them as competition for our well-being and therefore our enemies? Or do we see them as a part of us who we need to make manifest as a child of God so we can end this dream and all go home? So, so much of what this reduction is about and what this uh, particular um, declaration is about is a need to seemingly protect ourselves from what might happen. And it's really about the belief that we're not going to be okay, we're not go that we're not going to be resourced, that we're not going to be uh, provide provided for by God. And so it's our ego that wants to build things up and make sure we have enough money and that we, our health is really good and that we are, you know, we, we, we're, we have friends and, and we have a legacy to leave behind. And all that is the trappings of the ego. And it doesn't... Uh, allow us to be in the here and now when we're planning for the future. It takes us out of um, where we're supposed to be and that is our connection with God. And so the efforting that we go into to remain safe or to be secure is one that really doesn't exist. I, I remember when somebody told me once that uh, I don't need to build a legacy, I don't need to leave a legacy behind, how that was a bit of a odd thought for me because it's always about been about you know what what I'm going to accomplish what what can I point to what can people point to when I'm dead to look at yeah that's what Luke has done and and so it was an odd thought but it was also very reassuring and took a lot of pressure off my shoulders to not have to have something established to say that Luke was here and that's really what we why we do it is is this way to think you know, have, an, have this concept that it's been worthwhile, that what we've done has been uh, meaningful. So if you are really worried about things like money or your health or um, uh, what kind of legacy you're leaving behind, you're probably not connected to God. You're, you, and if it's taking your peace and it's causing you to be less happy, well, that's a problem. What do I want to say about this image? Well, it was uh, I was when I I wrote this declaration out, and it was how do I find an image for it? And then I came across this uh, this woodshed with all this all this wood uh, uh, firewood cut up for for the next season, and I thought that this was very apropos for the the accounts without really directly pointing to what this is mostly about is money how much money you have in the account but this is another formation of how to actually show that thanks so much for watching this video i just want to remind you that if you are wanting peace of mind then you have to forgive yourself for what you haven't think you've accomplished yet what you haven't done what you haven't uh, created because it's all an illusion. It, it doesn't really matter. And it, when, we, when we're able to just be okay with our circumstances in the here and now, life is really much better. Take care.